Guys, this is not a joke. I have another video coming very soon, but I needed to release this immediately to my channel because as soon as I found it, it needs to be heard. All you gamers out there who have been trying to optimize your mice to get the lowest possible latency, just stop right now. I figured out what has been making that latency so garbage in Windows 10 for years and years. And NVIDIA and Microsoft didn't want you to know about this because it could actually damage stuff in Windows. But from what I've done in testing, it doesn't damage Windows. It actually just does nothing except decrease the mouse input latency to practically nothing. This is ridiculous. So I need to show you this tweak right now. So for those of you who know, I'm currently using the latest NVIDIA driver and this works on all versions of NVIDIA drivers. So you can use this on the new one, the old one, basically any of them. So right here I have 472.12 and you're gonna need two things. I will have them linked in the description, but the first one is the NVIDIA profile tweaker. Now, this can seem scary at first, but once you get to reading and actually knowing what some of this stuff does, you will be extremely surprised. So first off, we're going to go to sync and refresh. Now here, we're going to turn off everything related to G-Sync. So G-Sync application mode, we're going to turn that to off. G-Sync application requested state, we're going to set that to disallowed. Some people say force off works, but disallow actually works. So now we're going to keep moving on. Global feature. This should be set to off. Pretty much all, everything related to G-Sync should be set to off in here. And I found this actually truly disables G-Sync, guys. So if you're using G-Sync, please stop using it unless you're getting less FPS in the game that you're playing. If you're getting under your monitor's refresh rate, leave it on. But if you're not and you're pushing 300, maybe 400 frames in a game and you don't have a 360 hertz monitor, please, for the love of God, leave it off because you are basically just leaving input latency on the table and um, it's pretty bad. So moving on here, triple buffering, make sure this is set to off. And vertical sync, make sure this is set to force off because I found that actually just having it set to regular off in the NVIDIA control panel doesn't disable it sometimes. In fact, it actually keeps it on no matter what. But that's not it, guys. We still got to keep going down here. Don't touch these. These are just um, other vertical sync settings. Now we're going to keep going down here. Turn off gamma correction. So just go down to here, turn it off. Gamma line reduction or gamma line make sure this is set to disabled um you don't need to touch any of these the nvidia predefined ffx fxaa whatever you want to set this to disallowed and filtering you basically just don't want to touch this except for this one setting called prevent anisotropic filtering and you want to set this to on but if these two aren't on with this on then it will cause uh, some issues so just leave these two on and this on basically what this does is it prevents the nvidia setting from even turning on to begin with like it doesn't even exist uh same things just go down here basically just look make sure everything is on high performance cuda force p2 state make sure this is set to off you do not want the p2 state enabled at all if you have it enabled, you will notice a significant uh, decrease in FPS. Essentially, this forces your GPU to stay at its highest rated boost clock for much longer than normal. Like, it just basically just shoves the boost clock time out the window and says, boost forever. Don't even down clock. But it still will down clock, guys, if your temperature goes to a certain degree. It just raises the temperature and the time threshold. Uh, going to keep going down here. Make sure this is on prefer maximum performance. Uh, threaded optimization is set to on instead of auto. All right, moving down. We're going to go to other. All right, so maximum frames allowed. We want to set this to one. And we want to change it from two to one. Now, if it gives you an error, just leave this because I know sometimes if you hit apply changes, 
Don't hit them yet, but if you do hit apply changes at the end and it gives you an error, go back to this and change it back to whatever value it was at, but generally you don't want to. All right, so now moving down, uh, memory allocation policy. We want to set this to memory allocation policy, moderate pre-allocation. So pre-allocation basically just means that the shader cache is already pre-allocated to a section of the memory before it um, enters the frame. So that frame goes into memory and then it goes into the buffer and then it goes to there. Basically what it does is it just removes the buffer. So it just goes frame, memory, display. Frame, memory, display. There's no buffer. It's just instant. Uh, NVIDIA predefined arsenal usage. Uh, go ahead and just disallow this or disable it. Um, so I'll click disallowed. Do not do this if you have GeForce experience. If you have GeForce experience, this will break GeForce experience. You will not be able to use it. Repeat, you will not be able to use GeForce experience. So moving along down here, we have the uh, variable refresh rate. We want to make sure that this is set to disabled. We want to make sure that we have no VBR, no variable refresh rate. And then once we are done and we have confirmed that everything works, I missed over one setting here. Let's just go ahead and do this quick and see if it gives me an error. It does in fact give me an error. So what I want to do is I want to just keep that on and forget about it. All right. So now that we're done in here, we're going to move on to the NVIDIA control panel. So pretty standard uh, NVIDIA control panel settings here. You basically just um, make sure it's on use advanced 3D settings and you want to go through each and every one of these settings here and um, make sure that they're the same from our NVIDIA tweaker. If they're not, then um, just pause the video here, 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 and here, and copy all my settings. All right, moving on. Make sure you set this to your GPU because you want it on your GPU. All right, change resolution, monitor here. If you have more monitors, just ignore them. Only have the one that's your main display. Use NVIDIA color settings, yep, yep. All right, so we're gonna keep going down here to adjust the desktop size and position. So here we go, we go to here. We wanna have no scaling and we wanna set this to display. If you do not have display, it either means you're on a laptop or you just don't have display scaling for your display. So still set it to no scaling anyway, and then just um, apply. Uh, any of your other displays though, leave all your other displays on aspect ratio and don't touch them. G-Sync, like I mentioned before, we already disabled it, but if it hasn't disabled from the NVIDIA profile inspector, just go ahead and just make sure this is disabled. So to enable this secret setting here, um, we want to click desktop and just click uh, enabled here and then change this to allow and then hit okay. It'll flash your screen for a while or hit the button and then basically just stop. This is required for the tweak that we are about to do. It essentially allows the NVIDIA driver to touch the system files, which is what we will be doing. It isn't allowed to do that by default. So that's what we'll be doing guys. So moving along here, we want to make sure that your um, color is set to NVIDIA settings and full range, then hit apply. And once we are done in the NVIDIA control panel, uh, I will tell you the other thing that we need to do. But first and foremost, go to your program settings. And what we're going to do is we're going to click the add button. Excuse me there, I had a little hiccup. And we want to click browse. Now, the two things that we want to add in here are in the C folder right here, the Windows folder, and we want to scroll down until we find the Explorer. The Explorer is right here, then hit open, then scroll down, and you will notice that the power management mode will be set to adaptive by default. If you've ever been wondering why when you tab out of a game, the FPS sometimes fluctuates heavily, it's because of this. The GPU is adapting no matter what. 
this locks the frequency in the Windows Explorer. So your mouse will feel fast because the boost clock in MSI Afterburner will always be applied no matter what. No matter what you're doing, the boost clock will always be applied no matter what. So essentially, it's just running full boost like all the time while you're running. So we'll add that in, switch this to prefer maximum performance, but we're not done yet. We want to click add again and we want to click browse and instead of the windows folder we're going to move to the system 32 folder now if you don't know where this is exactly and you can't seem to find it uh go ahead right click on the taskbar go to your task manager if it looks like this just click more details and then move on to here and look for desktop window manager. Right click on it, hit go to details, click here, right click on it, and then go to open file location. So for my instance, it's right underneath the DVD player. So we're gonna go back to the NVIDIA control panel and we're gonna scroll down until we find DVD player or somewhere close to it. Now it's gonna be down quite a fair ways but you should easily be able to find it if you are, um, it should be named WWDM, uh, Windows Desktop Manager. I am having trouble finding this right now, but um, just, just uh, give me a moment. WDM, it didn't find it, okay, so. Basically, uh, you have to keep scrolling through here. Uh, so just give me a second, guys. I'm going to pause it while I try and find it. Alrighty, guys. I found it. So again, right here, just double check. Make sure that the folder is down here. It's the same as here. DVD player. We're then hit open. And now you will see the same exact thing. I have no idea why NVIDIA is doing this, especially because basically what this is doing is it's fully limiting the GPU's performance potential. I swear to God, there is something that's going on inside NVIDIA that's making them do this. I, I don't know why they're working with Microsoft and having this set to adapt. Look, it's even recommended by the driver to be set to adaptive. But I put this to prefer maximum performance. And the first time I launched a game, my frame times had dropped from point, what was it like? Um, I think like two or three MS down to like point, point six, point seven, point eight, one MS. Why is this not by default? I do not understand. The drivers and like all this stuff, it can handle it. I'm doing it right now. And if you take a look here at my GPU, the temperature is only at 34C and it, it's fine. There's absolutely no issues with having that enabled by default. The driver still allows the GPU to idle as you can clearly see here. See? So if you're right here and you look, you can see that the only usage I have right now is in my 3D because of OBS and the encode, which is at 18%. I honestly don't understand why NVIDIA does, does this. It really just is the dumbest thing I've ever seen them do yet. And we're gonna move along with that final tweak, which is the, um, the MMCSS tweak. Basically what this does is it changes your performance counters. So your GPU performance counters by default in Windows are set to normal. I have no idea why it's set to a medium priority. It makes no sense to me. So basically what this does is it just sets your parameters to high so that your clocks don't drop at idle. And just when I did that, do I feel the holy grail of input latency. This feels like how Windows should have felt when it was released, Windows 10. But instead, they did all this crap. I have been playing for years trying to optimize my mouse performance, and I did not know about this tweak. So I want you guys to know about this tweak as well. Thanks for watching. I really hope this helps. If you have any problems, please
please tell me in the comments. I will be glad to help. And I really just hope that everyone who watches this video, including some of my favorite YouTubers, such as AdamX, Freethy, and some other YouTubers like Panjo and a couple of other people who are up there, big guys who know each other, please see this video and take it into account. This is insane. I just was looking things up on forums and stuff like that, and I found this. So thanks for watching again, and I will see you guys in the next video coming up about Windows 11.